Konnichiwa, hope everyone's good. So time for part two on the military surplus collection. This one's going to be on bags, so I'll start off with haversacks and then move on to the rucksacks. But the first one is the East German bread bag. Had some problems getting this. I ordered this and a few others. Can't remember what the site was, but they were based in London. I waited over a month to get it. And when I finally got the delivery, they sent us a East German gas mask bag, one of the rubberized ones, instead of this. So I sent them an email and uh, next working day this arrived from them. So I don't know why I waited over a month to get them and then one day for this to arrive after I told them they fucked up the order. But anyway, finally got it. Not sure if it's a real one or a reproduction. It doesn't have any markings on it. Anywhere. The leather's a bit worn out, so it looks like it's been used. Or well, that could have just been from having it closed in storage. So I'm not sure if it's a real one or reproduction. But, uh... I really like it, whether it's real or not, it's handy. It's just got the big main pocket and the little one on the side. So that's the East German bread bag. So next is the Finnish gas mask bag. I've modified it very slightly, I've added webbing on the top and put some straps on so I can hang a seeping bag on the bottom or a top. I plan on using this one as well for some hammock camping during the summer. I've also added some webbing on the sides for water bowls or first aid kits or a compass or whatever. So the inside, I haven't done anything to it. It's still original. So just got the big pocket there. Main pocket. And a few on the side. I watched John Sherwood's video and he pointed out what's that? Ballastol for some reason. Anyway, it's got another pocket right there which I didn't even know about until I saw his video, so find out new stuff every day. But I really like this. I've got two, this is the beat up one. I've got a brand new one issued one as well, but that one's unmodified. But I really like this just as an ADC bag as well. Haven't changed the straps or anything, it's still got the main if I can find it. Shoulder strap unpadded. I find it comfortable as is. And I haven't done anything with the waist strap either. So that's a finish gas mask bag. So next is the Bushcraft Haversack, which is the Polish bread bag. I might have gone a bit OTT modifying it, but I've had a lot of time on my hands. And I get bored easily, so I've added the strap here for a bedroll and whatnot. That's off the Swiss uh, mountain rucksack, the rubberized one. I can't remember the model of it, but I won't have that anymore. So I salvaged this off and attached it to the uh, Polish bread bag. And I've added a little section of molly. Uh, axe loop on the back. I've added some D-rings here as well. And more molly on that side. And also a little harness for it, which I've got on the uh, Finnish gas mask bag. But it goes down the sides here as well and I can attach things to that as well, hang that stuff off the bottom. 
So on the inside, I removed the spacer from the middle and I moved it here on the side so I can use it to store my knife or saw or whatever. Keeps it nice and neat. I've still got the pocket here. In this pocket was originally there, but I cut it off and moved it here. And besides that, it's pretty much stock. I haven't done anything else to it. But I like using it. It's a really heavy duty pack. And these straps are off of a Hungarian. Oh, not Hungarian, Yugoslavian rucksack that can be turned into a haversack as well, which I'll show next. So the Yugoslavian haversack slash rucksack. It's got it set up as the rucksack, so it's got two straps on the top via the steering, which come through these loops and then they attach onto the bottom here on the two other D-rings it's got a uh, straps for your shelter as well a bit of rust off to clean off leather straps which is nice inside it's got another pocket here and a bread bag I think it is built into it and another pocket right there Pretty nice bag. So Czechoslovakian M60, very heavy duty canvas bread bag with your belt straps, D rings everywhere, and on the bottom, it's just very heavy duty canvas. So yeah, I'm Russian, so if anyone wants to see any individual videos on the bags, then I will do it, just let us know. But until then, I'm just going to rush the videos, otherwise this is going to be another 20 or 30 odd minute long video. Anyway, inside, big pocket. Another big pocket in the middle, big enough for my fist, and I wear XL gloves. And then two smaller pockets on the side. And mine's dated 1974 with the crossed swords. So that's that. So another gas mask bag. This one's a one that I haven't seen many videos on. Seems to be a bit rare, but it's the Swiss. I think it's the M51. But this is really heavy duty as well. It's two layers of canvas. And both layers are pretty thick canvas as well. So it's a pretty indestructible bag. I've got two of these. This is the one that's in the best condition. I got one from Varstaleka, which is in pretty bad condition, but still very usable. This one I got from the British site. And this one's unissued, like I say, so it's perfect. But this is an awesome bag, kind of a weird design. It opens from the side instead of the top. And it's got a belt loop on the bottom as well. I'm not sure what this thing's for, but uh, it's all reinforced with metal as well. It's got that on the inside too, to stop it from tearing out. Even the strap is heavy duty as hell. 
pretty thick canvas. And it's got a, a lot of closures on it as well. And because the way it folds, it doesn't it won't lose anything. I use I've used the one from that I got from Verstalecker, which is in bad condition, and nothing's fallen out of that. I've kept small items like lighters and things in it, and they haven't fallen out. So it's a pretty safe bag. This one's a bit stiff because obviously it's unissued. We got three studs. You got to get off before you can get access to the bag. And then in here, it's got a ton of pockets. It's got one on the top. I don't know how well you see the ones on the inside. But we've got two on the top side here. Not sure what you would fit in them, but they're not real thick. And they're not that deep. That one there, you can probably just get your finger in. And that one two fingers, if I can find the hole, and a bit more, and then you've got two more pockets here, stick maybe an open L in there, would fit nicely, and each pocket's got these closures on it, this one's stiff to get out, there we go, oh, it opens that way. So a real big pocket there, big enough for my whole hand. And then it's got another big pocket right here. And the strap that goes through to the outside, it clips onto there, and then it's got another big pocket. I'll see if I can turn it inside out real quick. Might be easier to see everything. Could have just done that at the start of it. But yeah, I've got two pockets here, two pockets here, and you've got another pocket on the bottom, and another pocket right here. So, one on the top, and this one I think is undated as well. But that's Bit of a rare bag from what I've seen, or haven't seen, because like I say, I haven't seen any videos on it on YouTube. But I might do a separate video on this, because I think it's a cool bag. But it's a Swiss, I think it's the M51. So that's it for the Habersacks. Now for the Rucksacks. This one's the last one that I purchased, and this is the Romanian Combat Pack. And this one's dated 1979, I think. But this one's an awesome pack. Very large, bucket-style pack. All canvas and leather. I think this bit's for your helmet. Would attach up here and then come down here, and then you'd have a strap here, which went over the top. Just simple leather straps that clip just like the East German combat pack. Can't remove the straps on this though. They're just pretty solid. Heavy duty. Huge hooks on the bottom. I think you can see. I really like this pack. A lot of people say that's a bottle holder. From what I've seen, that's actually for a shelter. Then you've got two bits here for attaching tools. Same on the other side. Then on the inside, it's just a standard. Draw a cord, bucket style, that you see, 90% of packs like this.
And just like the Vision Shock, you can fit a ton of stuff in here. I had like seven or eight coats and I can still fit more. But just like the Vision Shock, it's all reinforced with leather on the other end. So just a massive bucket. I don't know what the capacity is on this thing, it must be like 40 or 50 litres, something like that. But that's the uh, Romanian combat pack. So the Vejma Shock, it's one of my favourite bags of all time. It's just super simple and versatile. And the Russians just make some of the most interesting stuff and the best stuff. I think the Czechs copied this as well, or it might have been the Romanians, but their version doesn't have the pocket on. But besides that, it's pretty much identical to this, but you can't get more simple than this thing. It's just an awesome pack. So I don't want this video to be 20 odd minutes long, I've got a feeling it probably is now, but uh, I'll end this video now, we'll call it part 1 and I'll do a part 2 soon. So thanks for watching for now, Chat.